Hey folks, BC7 here. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. Now the new map for us to look at today. Yes indeed, time for another map review. You picked up a horseshoe. <laughs> yeah, I won't say anything. Alright, the map we're looking at today is another MR ready map. Um, or MR edited if you wish. There isn't that much to change. Um, and it's called Feldkirchen. Forgive me if my pronunciation of that is not even close, <laughs> but we uh, have a look at her, shall we? So here we go. And so Feldkirchen. Can you get out of a bad situation? Because of the financial crisis, you have lost even all of your equip and most of your fields. Uh, in fact, you start this game with no equipment, no fields, and, of course, the standard 25 grand. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so, you have to work very hard, maybe harder than ever before in your life. Harder than ever before in your life to get back your lost wealth. There you go. Actually, while we're here, let's have a little look. There's something kind of familiar. I don't know, just the, the map shape itself kind of reminds me almost. Not sure. Something something we played recently has had a very similar sort of map shape to it. These uh, are just dead-end roads. These red symbols. I figured that out <laughs> by driving to them. Uh, vehicle selection. As you can see, you don't have a lot of choices. In fact, you have none. So, there are missions, and as far as I know, they sort of expect you to make a fair bit of your original money from these missions, because as I say, you don't actually start with fields or equipment, however there are fields with crops in them, which means of course you can harvest crops. Um, mind you, you need a harvester that costs less than 25 grand. So, nice big buildings. Here's your dump for your silos. And the silos are around the back, so there you go. This map does run the standard crops, no more, no less. It runs chicken, cows, and sheep, nothing more. No fattening stations, no piggies, etc, etc. Well, I say, they certainly aren't uh, small with their storage sheds. Here's our seed. Here's our fertilizer. We head over here, we've got more storage. Ooh, the Lime or Calc mod, if you wish, is installed on this map. Boy, that's a dark shed with a horseshoe. <laughs> kind of pointless, actually. I have all the horseshoes. Um, the Map Door Trigger mod is installed, as you can see. The other thing besides the lime, which is what's hiding behind this particular map door, or er, map door, <laughs> this particular door, is the lime. Uh, the other thing this map has on it, which I have not played around with yet, although I'm sure I will eventually get to a map that has it, this has the herbicide mod which means basically that weeds will grow in your field and they must be sprayed or you end up with some crop losses, crop damage, whatever you want to call it. So, here we have... My goodness. <laughs> now that's safe. Water shortage. Uh, okay, front loader, so that's a fairly standard mission. I'm not sure if they're the standard missions, it just said that there were missions and they would help you to earn the money you need. So, however, we do want to have a little bit better look at this map. Most of it is sort of tight in down here. So, across the road we get into our cow area. There's a large shed, I would assume for hay. There's one of those watering deals. We put our food here. Uh, actually, okay, this is the sheep. Sorry. Yeah, there's a pallet. 
dealy there, although I noticed there was also another one here, so I'm not sure which one will actually give us the sheep pallets, but there you go. So, yeah, the cattle are actually uh, back down on the main farm where we were. In fact, I think it's that the big building with the pinky red roof and all the windows in it. We a couple of nice size uh, silage silos. Yeah, here's our cattle barn. Hmm. Don't seem to actually be able to go in it. Oh, I guess from the other side you can. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, hello. She's a good foot off, so. We'll have to see. Alright, now, if we go down the hill, we come to air biogas. Now, apparently also on this map, you can sell liquid manure, solid manure, you sell your own milk, etc, etc. So, we have a scale here. Uh, there you go, the exact same mission. So here we go, I guess this would be your liquid manure. The other thing I noticed, like, there are some rather odd errors on the map. You know, things like this, all of these uh, bioplant pieces are actually floating. Right, that one's quite high off the ground. You know, just little things like that. They're not a big deal, right? But as you can see, this whole set here is sort of not really where it should be. Eh, squeeze through. <laughs> There we go, look at that, we're pretty good. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, that would appear to be where you can dump crops. Here's our actual silage pits, they're huge. <laughs> Alright. Now, actually, I guess that's where you gotta run your silage up, because I don't see another spot for it. So there is our plant. I suppose what we should do now is quickly log in a bit of money, grab ourselves a vehicle. Do do do. I think I'll grab me little uni mode cabriolet. Uh, yeah, we'll get this guy. Now. If we go back to our map. Ta-da! We have a vehicle. So, there we go. Here is our farm shop. And again, you can buy fert here, you can buy your seed here. Pretty standard fare. In fact, it's the farm shop out of the stock game. We also have a gas fill-up over here. I guess this is basically our village. Lost luggage, another stock mission. So I take it their missions in the game are just the standard ones. So yeah, here's our little village. Here's our traditional creepy looking woman. Hello, creepy looking woman. Go home, put some clothes on. Oh. The fields, well, let me see. The crop textures are really nice. Um, Whereas the rest of the map textures aren't all that special, and there is a fair bit of pop-in and pop-out on the trees. Although, granted, it is at a reasonable distance, so... Yeah, I don't know why I uh, bothered getting a vehicle. I did notice when I was... Actually, let's... Uh, <laughs> might as well. I did notice when I was driving the vehicle earlier... that uh, oh, that's better let's let the sunshine in I did notice that it does react to the plow lines on the field so I would assume that that is a thing as well on this map so um, as I say this has been edited for MR although there are some really, really, really um, st 
steep, steep hills, and there's some pretty good grades on some of the fields. Not so obvious here, but uh, you will find that that's the case. Let's have a look here, see what sort of prices we're dealing with, seeing as, like I said, we don't actually own anything to start with, so... 35,000. Okay. And that's about three quarters of a hectare. Uh, again, a standard pallet fork type mission. So... As I say, you gotta expect there is quite a few really, really steep areas on this map. There's our farm down there. You can see just this alone shows you the sort of steepness we're dealing with. And no fuel as we climb towards 40. There we go. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, we know there's no clipping, at least on some of the objects. So, let's have a little look here. Where are we going? Okay, that was our main farm. I don't think there's actually... Alright, there's one more cell point out here. I guess we'll go to that one. See, I hear you can see a example of how some of the... Uh, fields do certainly have a, a bit of a tint and a tone to them, like there's a fair bit of wave going on in these fields, and that is pretty darn steep. I mean, we're climbing pretty good. Uh, I would say the pitch on that field is even steeper, so, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. And that would be the end of the road, so... Let's have a look at this field price. 340,000 for 6.8 hectares. So that's uh, one darn big field. Wow. 6.8 hectares, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I can see it. <laughs> and that, okay again, these are all the standard missions, that's really all I wanted to check, so. I'm going to uh, shut that off now. No missions. There we go. Alright. Oh. It is a pretty map, I'll give it that. Um, also very, very basic, as I say. I mean, this is... Um, you know, it does have a couple of decent mods, i.e. the Calc mod and the uh, new Herbicide mod. But as far as the map itself goes, this is a fairly basic map. I mean, there's everything that you need on the farm to run the simple farm. Uh, insofar as, you know, your silage is there, the places to feed are there. There doesn't seem to be any sort of storage for, um, yeah. A little bit harder going up this hill. It is steep. Look at that. So yeah, there are some pretty major hills. Um, I didn't see any sort of storage for hay or straw, grass, etc. But uh, I'm sure that can be worked out. So we have cell points there. Looks like the inn, and again, stock assets taken right from the original map by the look of it. Let's head across here. We got rather a neat looking bridge that we can't go across because it's actually blocked off. <laughs> oh, I see that just droozles off into the edge of the map type of thing. Alrighty. Amazing what uh, sort of height you can get, eh? I think usually you're about here, but it only lets you scroll out a long way. And here apparently is one of our major cell point areas, so. Take a quick look. Mm -hmm. 
Hi there. I think I saw your wife earlier. <laughs> okay. So, picnic tables, an extra horseshoe. Uh, yeah, I take it this is just a sort of a villagey kind of place. Alright, so we're back here. This takes us up to the store. That's pretty much it, guys. Complete, uh, complete tour de force of the map. I'm going to say, there's not really a lot to it. Decent sized fields, again. Um, so I'm not sure shy of doing what I did and actually cheating some money in. What would we do if we actually had to go this from... Did I skip right past harvesters? I guess I did, didn't I? Harvesters. Huh, weird. Okay. See, even the, uh, the far is 42,000. Now, on easy mode, you start out with 25,000. So, it's something to consider. Um, basically, if you don't have a money cheat mod, I really don't see that you can start the map. Um, unless, of course, we have, well, not that we have a tractor and a tipper, but we could certainly buy a tractor and a tipper, small ones, for less than the 25 grand. So, for that to be viable, however, we would actually have to have... Alright, we have almost 20,000 sugar beets and 15,000 potatoes. So I think what you would have to do at the beginning of this map to make it work is buy yourself you know, a cheapy cheapy tractor, you know, um, whatever was in there, I mean, you sure ain't gonna spend much, there's 12,000 little tiny guys, right, that's pretty much all you're gonna get away with, unless you lucked into a mod that's, you know, gonna give you something like I have a John Deere here that I can buy for a dollar, right, 63.30 premium, it's got a price tag of a dollar, I can buy them all day, right, so, but beyond that, I mean, even this guy's 23.9 wouldn't leave you enough for a tipper. So, see again, that skipped right past harvesters. To potato harvesting, weird. I wonder if my mouse is starting to go. And then, of course, a tipper, they come, well, as cheap as 2,500 bucks. So I think that's probably what you'd have to do, um is buy a cheap tractor, a cheap tipper, and go and sell all of your potatoes and sugar beets. And that would give you the money to, well, I'm not sure, but I would hope that would give you the money to then turn around and buy a harvester. So, because if not, um, like I say, I think the only way you could actually play this game would be to cheat money in. Which sucks, I mean, you could do it that way anyways, but, you know, because after all, I mean, I do like to, uh, when I first start a game, I like to uh, bring in different buildings and things that may not have been originally included. So, the only way to do that, of course, is a little extra money. Okay. Here we got another sell point. To take. You can buy some lime here. Hang on. Uh, a little shed. Anything in it? More lime. Okie dokie. And is there a dumper here? Yep, there is. And then we can dump crops here. So there's another major sell point. But beyond that, that's really it, guys. That is this map. So, we have... What, 14, 15 fields on the map? It's not bad. All standard fruits. So, and as you can see, wow, there's uh, a lot of corn fields, a couple of barley, a couple of wheat, and one canola. So there are lots of crops you can take down if you can get to the point where you can actually afford a harvester. So, but there you go. That has been our look at 
the MR Feld Kirschen. A not bad little map. Um, as far as MR goes, it's going to be really challenging. Um, especially since, as I say, you start with nothing. All right. If they'd have included even a cheap set of vehicles, you know, the Far Harvester, a crappy tractor, a crappy tipper, that would be different. Then you could certainly manage to drag yourself up by the boot heels and get this map done. As it is, yeah, it's a really tough start. And then you're going to be starting with equipment that basically... See, here's another one of these... Uh, little plates that usually mean a pallet pops up but you'd be starting the game with quite a disadvantage um, as I say you'd have to pick yourself a really small tractor small tipper and with these steep hills you know you can imagine using one of those little 38 horsepower tractors to haul your little Elmsland trailer 35 times up these sets of hills from your farm way over there to one of the cell points could be difficult, but could be quite a challenge. And as I say, in MR, this is definitely one very, very challenging map. So, there you go. That's been our look at MR Feldkirchen. Hope you enjoyed the map review. Please leave a comment, leave a like, give me a thumbs up if you care to. Subscribe would be the ultimate. But, till next we meet, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks, because nobody else will. And until next we meet, ciao for now.